Brian, and they're linking this suspect to at least four other sexual assaults in four other states. They say if this woman was not able to break out of that cinder block cell, that suspect most likely would still be on the loose. Some cases alarm even the most seasoned investigators. Wednesday, members of the Oregon FBI, local police, and the Attorney General's office discussed the terrifying details of a kidnapping in Seattle that crossed state lines. The disturbing evidence uncovered to date points to an individual's ongoing and escalating pattern of violence targeting women in multiple states throughout the country. Investigators say 29-year-old Nagasi Zuberi drove about seven hours north from his home to Seattle, Washington. On Aurora Avenue, documents say Zuberi picked up a woman for sex, then pretended to be a cop, pointing a taser at the victim and kidnapping her. Along the 460-mile drive back to his home in Klamath Falls, Oregon, documents say Zuberi raped the woman. Investigators describe Zuberi's home like something out of a horror movie. They discovered a makeshift cinder block cell with a metal door and a singular light bulb above for light. These are pictures of that cell. Investigators say in the face of a nightmare, Somehow the victim found strength to fight back. She realized that she needed to get out of that residence because her life was in danger. And she took the substantial steps to force her way out of that cell. And then she ran out into public, flagged down the first vehicle she could find. And then she was taken to safety. Then 911 was called. At the home, police found evidence, including this note, seemingly showing the detailed plans for this crime. Reading, Operation Takeover. Leave phone at home. Make sure they don't have a bunch of people in their life. You don't want an investigation. Once Zuberi realized the victim had escaped, it appears he fled with his family, making it all the way to Reno, Nevada, more than 250 miles from his home, where police caught up to him in a Walmart parking lot the next day. Following a 45-minute standoff, police arrested Zuberi. He faces one count of interstate kidnapping. That charge carries with it a maximum sentence of up to life in federal prison. The victim, if she didn't do what she did, we wouldn't be here today, and Mrs. Zuberi would not be in custody. So, Investigators would not say what, if any, role Zuberi's wife played in this situation. Right now, though, Zuberi is the only one facing that charge. Investigators are most concerned, though, Brian Hanna, with the possibility of other victims who might be out there. They say Zuberi has lived in about 10 different states over the last few years. They ask anyone with information to contact them. We have information on how to do that on Fox13Seattle.com. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm AJ Janova for Fox 13 News.